Hey, what's going on, y'all? Alright, so I didn't do a Fish and Story Friday today. Um, I am going to do one right now, just a real quick one, and I'm actually going to do a little unboxing. Uh, Jess, my wife, uh, she actually had to go to the ER yesterday, and uh, she was showing, she's only 32 years old, she was showing stroke-like symptoms, and uh, they still have yet to figure out what was wrong with her, but um, we're still working on that, but she's home now, she's actually back taking a nap, but um, I make you guys a video still, uh, anyway, we are going to uh, do a little, let's see, we'll do the story, and um, then we're going to see what I bought from Bass Pro Shops a while ago. So, um, for the story, we're going to do uh, my first pike that I ever caught. Uh, first pike that I ever caught, I was uh, actually fishing a very popular little section of river. I mean, a really, really tiny section of river where the current used to flow through pretty hard. And um, I had heard that there were pike in there. Obviously, since you have... Um, trout, they eat really well, it's a stock trout um, river, so anyway, I was um, fishing specifically for musky or pike, I was throwing a um, jerk bait about that long, the number 10 or something like that, and uh, the big rapala uh, husky jerk that has the three treble hooks on it. Anyway, I was tossing that out, and off of this corner, there was a, um, a rock. It was basically made of, like, giant rocks. And the, there was a little bit of a break right there, so I knew something was probably setting off of that corner, as it usually does, right off of a point. And um, I was casting out past the corner, up into the rapids, and then just working it back through real quick, back past the uh, little slack water in the corner. And I did that, I was working all the way back, all the way back, <clears throat> and I was casting kind of weird because there was a big tree right next to me. It was pretty much growing out of the bank, and it was a great here, so I had to cast up under the branches. And um, cast it, cast it, cast it, and finally, I was working that lure in and I got it probably within about five or six feet of the bank and I looked down and as soon as I looked down at the lure a uh, pipe just comes out of nowhere and I stopped the bait. Pike ate it right in front of me. I go to set the hook, hit the tree branch above me so I didn't get a real good hook set. It was good enough to get the pike in. He realizes he's hooked. He takes off into the rapid. I'm sitting there fighting him. I only fought him for like a few minutes and got him in, landed him. Knew, knew not to put my hands in his mouth. That's about all I knew. So I um, gill plated him without getting into his gills and got him unhooked and put it back. But it, it wasn't real big. Uh, it was, it was, uh, wasn't big, wasn't small. I mean, he was probably about that long about that big round, but it was a lot of fun. Right. But I just wanted to make sure that I did a fishing story Friday for y'all. Alright. Next, we're going to go ahead and do a little uh, unboxing. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I got that for um, a birthday gift, and it had $50 on it. So uh, what I did was I went to Bass Pro Shops. Um, Jesse and the kids went up there to see her mom and dad in Pennsylvania and went down to Myrtle Beach. That's the closest one to us. And when I took them down there, I actually, what's going on with my hair? My hair is crazy to add a hat on when I went to see, went to pick Jesse up from the hospital. Anyway, um, it had $50 on it. She went up to see them. I went to Bass Pro Shops in Myrtle Beach. 
tried to uh, get as close to $50 as I could. And we actually, apparently, I mean, I got a ton of stuff. And apparently, I have some money left over on this card because that's what we spent. We spent $44.14. So I'm going to have to call this card balance and see what I got left on it. Okay, so Ezra's going to help me. What do you got for the first lure? Okay. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Alright, so this is a Rebel Lore. This is their little wee frog. And it's kind of like, if y'all have ever used the Crick Hopper, that's kind of what you do. It kind of looks like a frog. So toss it out there and all you do is pretty much just twitch it on the top. But the other thing that's nice about this, this little wee frog, is you can actually fish it like a crankbait. So you can either twitch it on top, fish it like a crankbait. It's pretty, actually pretty versatile. Kind of looks like a frog. But anyway, that's lure number one that I apparently bought. Oh, okay. All right, so some of the lures that are in here, I did not buy at Bass Pro Shops. I actually bought these because, right, so these buzz baits are very very awesome because they have two clackers two beads and see that it's a plastic they have a plastic mold for the blades it's quad blades and what they do is there's a little metal insert underneath those blades these are the best buzz baits ever um, I don't I think these ones are actually handmade. I picked these up from, I saw appliances, so I got a, I had a customer that was in and he said that we were talking, he said he could get me some of these from one of his buddies. And he got me it, so that's that. And what do you got for the next one? Another one. Uh, so I got a chartreuse one, because that's a money color down here. And then I got the all black for nighttime fishing same concept I love these I used to catch so many fish on these in Pennsylvania you used to catch um, see how it's got the longer shaft right there so that just I mean pulls perfect through the water that is straight every single time very very thick metal the wire is very thick anyway I love these things and I got a couple other baits from them too I think I spent I think I spent like 20 bucks or something like that with this guy. Another one. And Ezra, Ezra said another one. Got a white one. They didn't have an all white. They had the white with red specks in it, which is fine. The color does really well too. Put that in there. So that was $20 separate from the $44 and 14 cents that I spent at Bass Pro Shops, but that somehow ended up in this bag. We got oh, a spinner bait. bait. Alright, again, same concept. It's kind of a, it's like a flatter head right there. It does really well through the water. Thick. This one's a double Colorado. That's if you really want to slow it down. The fishing shop, Rockaway, New Jersey. So this guy is in New Jersey and his number is on the back of the card. So if you want some uh, fishing lures from Walt Urban at the fishing shop, I don't know if he's still in business or not, but right there, that's where you call him. Oh, okay. I got this for you. I got one for you and one for Jonas. Oh, can I show mine? That's the, yeah. You know, it's just one of those little um, Burke, uh, Burke Flexa products. That's one of those little frogs that Ezra got one too. I got a bullfrog. 
But they're weedless. They're fun little frogs to fish. Each, each one of you guys. That's a Jonas's. Just throw it over here. All right, next. Got a, another spinner bait. It's actually a Booyah Bassinator spinner bait. Pick that up. We got that the Glimmer Shed. I remember, I got a Shed. I honest to God remember. I got a Shad colored one because I planned on fishing lakes and stuff. There you go. I can barely get it out there. It's hooked on something. Yeah, the bag, you hook the bag. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, get it unhooked from the bag. Nice. I think it's a shark hook. White. This is the all white, but this is the smaller. Sometimes you don't want it to be as noisy. Just back in here. Let's get to organize all of this later. That must be fun. It will be fun. <laughs> Next. But you can make it fun. And I got, of course I got trailer hooks because I bought more trailer hooks because I, honestly guys, I don't know how I completely forgot about this bag. This bag, Jesse put up in the closet, I completely forgot about it. So here we go. It's like a MTB unboxing or an LTB unboxing, you want to look at it. Ooh, this is going to tear it up. So we have the Rapala or Rapala, however you want to say it, the J7 original floater in black and gold. That, I have caught so many fish off of this lure. I have caught a ton of fish off of this lure. That's it looks exciting. Like a good lure. It's got like a little bit of gold, a lot of silver, some black, it's a double, oh man. Jointed. That's a good boy. Next. Oh, oh, I remember this. Okay, I got a lighter color crick hopper. These are fun little baits to fish if you uh, want to catch. You can catch bass, panfish. I mean, pretty much anything on it. Those are fun little lures. This one is actually the one that's a little more lifelike. But a lot of the grasshoppers down here in a few months are going to be that color. So that'll be. That'll be fun to throw on the ultralight. Oh, the Booyah, the Pad Crusher Junior. So I got a little bit smaller. That's pretty much what our frogs look like here. Um, I got the smaller one. Man, I wish I would have had this. I wish I would have forgot about this box. This box, has, let's see, what date was this? <laughs> no, it was 6-24-2013. It was June 24th. Wow, 2013. Okay. A little bit after my birthday. Mm, I got a little bit lighter color. In case the water is a little... Murky. Murky. There you go. Oh, I forgot about this one. This well, actually, I forgot about the whole bag, but... That's <laughs> awesome. This, guys, this is awesome. So I got that white one, and then got this one. This one's sort of a more natural color. It's like ultra clear water. Wow. That'll work really well. Next one's gonna be one of John's favorites. Oh man, and I bought another one of these too. Oh well, now I have two different colors of them. It's a little HJ6 um, Ratlin suspended husky jerk. Silver, can't beat that. That's a good little bait there. That'll be fun. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so I got a 316 ounce Booyah. It's a little pond magic in the craw color. So that will, that'll be good. Huh. That's cool. 316 ounce. So that has the the real small uh, willow leaf on it, and then it has the uh, Colorado up here. And I believe this has a mustad. Yeah, this had mustad hooks on them. So that's cool. 
That's the last one. Oh, and then I was going to try one of these out. That's that Booyah Bait Company. Um, this is their, I got the black on black because I do really well with the black ones, but it has the longer arm on it. And this one actually has the little clacker up here. So I guess the, the idea behind it, I've never used one with the clacker on it. Um, the idea behind it is that that blade spins and hits that clacker. So that would be good. But anyway, that is all of them, right? Yep. Cool. All right, guys. Well, surprise unboxing. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed that. And... I will keep you updated on Jess's condition. Hopefully she, uh, it's just some weird thing that's going on that passes and doesn't happen again. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys.